Hi everyone. Today we're going to talk about how you can use affiliates to help boost your campaign. We all know we're looking for as many people as possible to share our campaign as we can. And this is one way that I recommend doing so. All right. So the concept of affiliates, if you are not already familiar, is that you have an affiliate program in which people share their custom link. So each link is specific to each affiliate person. And this is important. You don't want to just create one link and send it to everyone. Each one needs to be tied to that specific person. Then they share that to their audience via their newsletter or social media channels, thereby driving traffic to your campaign. The goal is to incentivize and reward people who bring backers to your campaign. So they are also financially invested in the success of your campaign. The more backers they bring in, the better for you and the better for them. Affiliates can be anyone. They can be, you know, longtime readers, fellow authors, perhaps they're journalists or they're writing about you. You can offer them an affiliate link to put into their article. Same thing with blog bloggers or podcasters, influencers, absolutely anyone. Whether you offer an affiliate commission or not, you can always give these personalized links so that you can track the performance of these channels. So say, for example, I want to track the performance of a Facebook post. I can create a specific a referral link, and I'll show you that in a minute. It wouldn't be an affiliate. I'm not paying anyone for it. It's just for me to track the backers coming in on that link. And you can reward affiliates by offering them a flat fee or a commission, sort of a percentage of all backers who they bring to your campaign. This is negotiable, and this is going to differ based on who you are working with and how they want to work. So again, who are affiliates? They're really anybody and you're rewarding them, what I would do is I would suggest reaching out to your power readers. So look at your email list, see who's opening your emails, uh, see who's following you on social media and reach out to them and find out if they want to become an affiliate for your upcoming launch. Keep in mind, more is better. <laughs> Not It takes a lot of shares to a cold audience to get a conversion. So if these affiliates are people who are, well, while they're very nice and they may have a large audience, their audience may not be directly related to your book or may not convert right away. They're going to have to share multiple times. So don't be afraid to make all of your backers affiliates. Uh, again, it takes a lot of sharing in order to have a conversion and you do want people to you know, be incentivized to share their link. So be, be liberal with who you reach out to, basically is what I'm saying. And then, of course, send them all of the relevant information for your affiliate program. Let them know what to expect. Uh, let them give them all of the creatives that you have, creatives being uh, the graphics and the copywriting, everything. Uh, and, and let them know what qualifies as a, a backer for payout at the end of the day. Again, this is outlined below in a template so you can see. Um, but basically, you know, backers are backers during the campaign pain and they may not succeed. You know, payment from that backer may not go through. Uh, so you just want to be very clear that you will pay commissions on successful pledges at the end of the campaign. Okay, so you can do this right in Kickstarter itself. You do have to wait until your campaign is live, but in your dashboard, there's a dashboard section that activates when your campaign goes live. You go to the custom referral tags section and just enter the name of the affiliate. If they have a, a Twitter handle or an Instagram at, just put at such and such so you can easily find them again. And then copy paste that personalized URL into the email where you have all the instructions and you give them access to, again, the creatives, the graphics, the copywriting, everything, uh, provide that their link and be very clear. They need to use that link in order to have their, their, their backers tracked. Basically. Um, if you, if you, if they don't use the link, if they use your general Kickstarter project link, that's great. Uh, but it's not going to go towards their affiliate link. And therefore you don't know, you don't know how many backers they brought in. Uh, so 
Pros, this, this process is easy to do. It's within Kickstarter itself. You can use the custom referral tags uh, to do this, and you don't need to have a Kickstarter account to be an affiliate. Please know Kickstarter has nothing to do with your deal with the affiliate. That's between you and the affiliate. So you're going to have to find a way to pay them. Uh, there's lots of ways to do this. You can, you know, they can send you an invoice or you can send them um, a link, uh, PayPal, Venmo, Cash App. There's lots of ways to transfer money to people now online. You're going to have to do this separate of Kickstarter. This is not uh, a Kickstarter run affiliate program, it is just possible to do an affiliate program through Kickstarter. I hope that's clear. Uh, the cons are that it is time consuming. You do have to enter in each person one by one, then you have to keep track and you have to pay them out yourself. Um, and affiliates cannot check the stats themselves. So they don't know how many uh, backers they've brought in. They don't know what their status is. So it's going to be on you to continue to reach out to your affiliates and update them. On the other side, that's a pro because you now have a reason to reach out to these people, encourage them and remind them to keep sharing your campaign. So it's quite easy. Uh, Creating an affiliate link on Indiegogo is also relatively easy. Um, you, again, you do it within Indiegogo itself. Indiegogo does not manage the payments. I just want to be very clear. You need to, you know, it's set up however you want. So it's very flexible, but it means you need to pay out uh, your affiliates yourself. Uh, basically, all backers can become affiliates to your Indiegogo campaign by sharing the link when they are logged in. If they do not back your campaign, you're going to need to create their referral link for them. So you're going to need to have their user ID, which are those numbers there in that, that link. Um, so there are more directions on Indiegogo itself. It is a little bit more confusing um, just because you can create your own affiliate links. So instead of like, basically you have your Indiegogo project link backslash reft backslash your user ID backslash anything. So after that eight, nine backslash, I could put Facebook ad one, Facebook ad two, I can create as many links as I want. Um, and you can do the same for your affiliates. So it can be a little confusing um, if they don't want to create it themselves, uh, but it's very easy to do as a backer. You just log into your Indiegogo account, visit your campaign and grab the URL. The, the hyperlink looks very similar to that. So the pros, again, it's easy to do and it's free. It's already in Indiegogo itself. Uh, the cons is time consuming. You do have to instruct your backers how to grab the URL. It's simple, but you still have to do it. Uh, and affiliates, again, cannot check the stats themselves and they have to have an Indiegogo account. You do need this user ID here. That's how Indiegogo tracks everything. So they do have to have an Indiegogo account. Okay, there are existing third-party platforms that do this for you, meaning they will track who signs up and then pay them out based on the number of backers that come in. So yet people can sign up, they can promote Kickstarter or Indiegogo. These platforms will charge you as the creator a fee. However, affiliates can see their commissions and can see how many times their link has been shared, how many backers have visited. So they do get some more statistics on their side. So the pros, of course, affiliates can monitor commissions without bothering you or waiting for your input. Um, they can also promote other projects while they're there. So while they're in, you know, that third party website, there are other projects that are live that are also running affiliate programs. Cons, you don't have any knowledge about who is successful or not. So I have been an affiliate for many authors um, and it is kind of shocking to see how many times I need to share a campaign in order to get a conversion. So this is really good information for you to have that you, you won't be able to have if you use one of these affiliate programs. While it is easier, um, it you're gonna lack all of that good marketing knowledge and be like, okay, don't send Elise an affiliate link because she brings in, she brought in two people last campaign, or, you know, you might 
you might learn something new and say, wow, LinkedIn performed really well for me. I had $8,000 come in on LinkedIn. It might really surprise you. So it is good to have these uh, custom referral links that can be tied again to any person or any channel or any email you send out. Um, you can have these custom links there so you can track the performance of those channels. Um, also another con is affiliates may or may not sign up for the program. It is an extra step. They may not do it. Um, whereas if you handle it as the creator, um, the worst they're going to do is not use the link that you gave them, but they don't have to go into another system, enter their name and email and information. It's all there. So as always, do your research, uh, take a look at any websites that are offering this as a service and make a decision. So the, I, I placed some information in the section below um, so you can take a look at those companies. Again, they appear and disappear relatively quickly. So um, I'm sure there are more as well. So here's just an example. Um, Kick Booster doesn't even have publishing as a category. So if I wanted to search by books or for publishing categories, I, I can't. I can't find any Kickstarters by publishing. I have to use their search function. Um, I did, and I found like a bookshelf product. It wasn't even a book. It was a bookshelf product. So just to let you know, um, a lot of these platforms don't have publishing as a category. So you may just want to do it manually and run it through either Indiegogo or through Kickstarter yourself. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, of course, and um, yes, best of luck using affiliates for your campaign.